one more uh, lecture segment, one more um, chapter section in this chapter talking about complex sound waves. What I've told you already is pretty much a lie. Um, no, it's true. But you do get different harmonics that are set up in, in different instruments. But when I play um, this note on, this is a G, when I play that note, it's not just the fundamental mode that's going on there. It's a combination of a lot of different modes, uh, the fundamental frequency, as well as all the others mixed together. So uh, that sound, if you were to di digitize it, you'd see that it would look complex like this. The pressure as a function of time wouldn't look like any kind of sinusoidal wave. <laughs> it's in fact a combination of the fundamental frequency plus the first overtone, the second harmonic, the third harmonic, et cetera, in different amplitudes to produce this complex wave. And this is the reason why different instruments sound different. Uh, it's because the amounts of these different frequencies are different. And that's one reason why that violin doesn't sound like a clarinet. It's the presence or absence of the various uh, amounts of, of uh, these harmonics. Um, Musical instruments, uh, what gives them their, their characteristic timbres, and it's the amount of these overtones, just as we talked about present in the different musical instruments. The uh, flute has a very pure sound. It has a, a lot of the fundamental, a little bit of the uh, second harmonic and a little bit of the third harmonic, but very little of the higher harmonics. The oboe has a very complicated sound, a very nasally sound some, <laughs> in some ways, and it's because it has a lot of higher harmonics present in the sound. So, so that is, uh, and that's what gives the different instruments their characteristic timbres or their tone qualities. Timbre, spelled T-I-M-B-R-E, is pronounced T-A, it's pronounced timbre, uh, and it just means tone quality. Um, so why is a violin and a guitar playing the same note uh, different? The fundamental frequency is different? No, they can't be because they're playing the same note. They have the same fundamental frequency but have different harmonic frequencies. No, they both have the same harmonic frequencies if they have the same fundamental frequency. The two instruments have the same harmonic frequencies but different fu fundamental frequencies. That's not true either because they're, the they're playing the same pitch. Therefore, they have to have the same fundamental frequency. And then finally, the two instruments have the same fundamental frequency. This is one that's true. And the same harmonic frequencies but the amounts of each of the harmonics is, are different for the two instruments. That's why. Um, piano overtones are called partials. They're not called harmonics because they're sharp. So if you play a C, it generates a whole series of, of what we would have called harmonics, but they don't obey the harmonic series. And the reason is those piano strings are stiff. And so because of that stiffness, the, the uh, first overtone or the, or the second harmonic of that note that you play is a little bit sharp. So what piano tuners do is they actually stretch the octave so that instead of the, the distance between, the ratio between this higher C and this lower C being a factor of 2, they stretch it to 2.01 or 2.02. It's called stretching. And so there's a lot of reasons why the piano is evil. This is only one of them. It's also an um, equal-tempered instrument, and so those intervals that we talked about a couple of sections ago are not pure. And uh, I love the piano, but in some ways it's evil. And thank you very much. <laughs>